All right, hey, Josh out of Columber. I wanna give you an update here on a 24 by 48 post frame here for light uh, industrial consumer. You probably can see right over here. Um, he's gonna use this as a, kind of a utility purpose building, but uh, uh, pretty big operator right up here on, uh, right here, up here in Port Clinton, um, so forth. But uh, kind of give you an idea here, you can see red wainscoat, white steel, and uh, let's take a look at this. You can see he has, you can see he has a natural light up there coming down from the eave. You see that the natural light from the building, three foot section panels that are coming down. Has that established on the eave. You know, why do that? You know, some people uh, wanna do it for cosmetic reasons. And obviously, you know, from a lighting standpoint, you can see it definitely brings that natural light. You can see this, this barn or this building only has one window right there in the back gable right there. And let's talk about that window real quick and so forth. And for a lot of you DIYers out there that are building, um, we recommend obviously putting up thousands and thousands of buildings obviously through the years. You start to see some trends and some tendencies. And whether you do um, um, a sliding window or let's say right here, one that goes up and down. You know, the sliders a lot of times will get jammed up. They really will, they'll get jammed up and, and uh, with dirt and uh, with that. And it just makes, you know, the application getting that window open that much tougher. So little thing, but the little things sometimes can make a big difference. And also we've talked about house wrap before, but house wrap really, what the house wrap does, for example, wood, there's, uh, it protects the steel from the wood. So there's moisture condensation on wood. And this house wrap helps protect the steel, the outside steel from rusting. So obviously it pr protects it from rain and, and uh, coming in and all that. But that's one of those things. So the wood has a moisture element in it. But if with house wrap, for example, you know, you're gonna cut down the, that, uh, that rust component. You see this gentleman used three ply laminated columns. You see we talked about the pressure points, but I'll go over that again. I think it's really important. These are two by six, three ply laminated columns. Pressure point right there, bam. See how that's wedged, notched right in there. Uh, notched right in there. And then there's also a different pressure point right there as well. And then there's also a different pressure point right there as well. And what this does, this gives it a very true straight post versus like a six by six, four by six. And again, this is not a huge building, 24 foot in width, 24 by 48. But this is gonna keep it very, very straight. Um, and that's uh, obviously important on any building. And then you can see right up here, we put a vapor barrier underneath the metal. You've probably seen some other videos that we've done drip stop applied to the metal. Now this consumer, Thought obviously a vapor barrier applied to the underneath of the steel would be more suitable for his application right here. And you can see we cut out this little overhead door that gives him access to this quasi greenhouse over here and so forth. So, kind of gives you an idea of what we can do. We can set it up again. This is a, a obviously a smaller light commercial building, but still. You can see there's different practical applications on a post frame pole barn building and what you can do and so forth. And then also this overhead door. Now we use a home style overhead door. A lot of times, you know, you'll get an overhead door and you probably, a lot of you watching this video probably already done that. Buy a cheap one at a big box store and about two, three years later, even a year later, you start to see rust on it. And uh, boy, that's frustrating when you have that happen. So a stronger, again, it's a masonite door, a little bit more expensive, but I tell you, there's nothing worse. Well, there are things worse, but it's not pleasant in a few years when you have rust on a door. So you wanna do it right if you're gonna do it. You don't wanna cut corners. So um, that's a little thing as well. And then also this diagonal bracing. Diagonal bracing, you see that two by six run in there. And it runs all the way up to the top. What that does is really important. It keeps the building from racking. When I say racking, it keeps the building from moving and swaying and so forth. And that's important. You want a structure 
Obviously, this is Ohio, up by the lake, only a few miles from the lake, Lake Erie. Uh, a lot of wind. So you want to have a building, obviously, that's uh, secure, stable, and doesn't sway, doesn't move. So for more information, keep following the journey with Attica Lumber. You can uh, definitely visit our website, atticalumber.com, or you can call one of our knowledgeable associates, 419-426-BARN. Attica Lumber, since 1920. Five.